All right, so today I wanna to share with you some easy low waist swaps. Now these are only easy if you implement them into your life gradually. If you watch this video and think, oh my gosh, now I have to do all of these things at once, nothing's probably ever gonna happen. At least that's how it works for me. But I just want this to be like from one beginner to probably another. If you're not a beginner, you've probably heard all these things before, so there's really no point in watching this video. Reducing your waist, you know, living a more sustainable lifestyle is something that you will work on for your entire life. It takes years to really get to probably the place you want to be because there's still so many changes I know in my life that I want to make. But you just have to remember to do it gradually because otherwise it just doesn't work. So number one is replacing Ziploc bags and cling wrap with just regular Tupperware. Say you're taking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for work. You don't need to wrap it up in cling wrap and you don't need to put it in a plastic sandwich bag because they make these just plastic or glass or metal. Plastic probably isn't the best of the three, but working with what you have is most important. You don't have to go out and buy new things if you already have plastic or whatever kind of regular Tupperware. Replace parchment paper with a reusable baking sheet. Whenever I make anything in the oven that would need parchment paper, I just use one of these instead. It's a reusable silicone baking sheet and you just wash it once you're done and you can reuse it a million times and it's a lot more eco-friendly and a lot of these things that I use and show in the video I have links to on my website so if you want to know like the exact kind that I use you can go there I'll leave it down below replace a regular razor with a safety razor so when you get these regular kinds of razors you're usually just throwing the entire thing out once the blade goes dull or some of them just kind of fall off like that. But that's still plastic that is going in the trash and is gonna stay there for probably 100 or 200 years. And instead you can get one of these safety razors which is what people always used to use back in the day. And this thing, this handle, can last a lifetime and then you're really only buying these blades which come, as you can see, in cardboard. And then they come in this waxy paper and I'm not really sure if that's recyclable, let me know. But the blade inside of it can be recycled if you like take them to a certain kind of special facility that handles that kind of stuff. Replace floss picks with regular floss. I will never understand why anybody had to invent these things where you use them once or a couple times and you throw the entire thing away. When in my opinion, regular floss isn't really that difficult to use, you know, and it creates a lot less waste. Of course you do still have like the cardboard waste and the little metal. There's probably some plastic in there, but this is the kind I use. It's vegan, which means they don't put any beeswax on the floss and it's from the brand EcoDent. Bring your own Tupperware to restaurants instead of using their takeout boxes. I have accomplished to remember this a total of two times in my entire life, bringing one of these things to a restaurant, you know, just sticking it right in my purse. And I'm pretty proud of myself for those two times, but that's definitely something I am working on because a lot of restaurants, you know, they give you like plastic or styrofoam containers and you just use them and you throw them away. And again, they're on this earth for a long, long, long time. Replacing disposable tampons and pads with a menstrual cup or reusable cloth pads. So while it is way easier to just rip one of these open, use it and then throw it away right after you're done, it creates so, so, so much waste over the course of your life. Instead, there are a few options that are a lot better for the environment. Number one is menstrual cups. As you can see, I've tried out four different kinds. This is an example of what one looks like. And then here is the Maluna Sport. They come in all different shapes and sizes and they're pretty awesome to use if you can get them to work and even pretty awesome even if you can't like me. So what I use along with them is cloth pads, which come again in all different sizes and styles and whatever. These ones are from the brand Hannah Pad and they just kind of fold open like this and you put them on your underwear, you snap that around your underwear and they collect a lot of blood. Well, not the panel liner size, but like the larger ones. There's also, I believe, reusable tampons, but I don't know a whole lot about them because they're not super common. Replace plastic toothbrushes with bamboo toothbrushes. So of course these and electric toothbrushes are the more popular kind of toothbrushes these days. Bamboo toothbrushes are nice because they are compostable and so this goes back into the earth eventually. And the ones that I get at least, and I'm sure most kinds, um, come in 
cardboard boxes instead of like plastic and cardboard. And so that's completely recyclable. The brand I get is called Spermal. And again, that's on my website. Replace buying new bottles of shampoo and soap with buying them in bulk. Now this is something that not everyone's gonna be able to do, but there is a store around me that, for example, this soap that I use, um, they have like big giant containers of them with a little pump top on it. You can just go and pump it into your bottle and you're not creating that much waste that way. Another thing you can do is like, Soap and shampoo bars are of course a lot more eco-friendly than buying in plastic bottles. Make your own deodorant instead of buying new ones that come in plastic. This is something I want to get back into. When I was in the van, I was too lazy to remake this old deodorant that I used to make all the time and I actually really like it. It really works for me. And so I got some Toms. And while different recipes are gonna work for different people, I do have a video or two actually, um, where I show how I make that. So if you want the recipe, you can go check that out. Buy brushes and combs with bamboo handles versus plastic ones. So this is a brush I used to use uh, a while ago. And this is the one I use now and it has a 100% bamboo handle. So that's really nice because bamboo is a much more sustainable material than plastic as most people know. And so if you can find one of these where you live, then that's awesome, pick it up. Once you're done using your other brush because there's no point in getting something that you don't need because that doesn't create less waste. Just next time you need a brush, get a bamboo one. Replace plastic water bottles with reusable ones. This might seem obvious to a lot of people, but some, like my stepdad, still think it's necessary to get entire packs of water bottles when guess what? The tap water at my house works just fine. You can also get a reusable straw, glass, metal, bamboo, silicone, whatever, so that we don't have to see any more of those sad turtle pictures. Instead of throwing away old t-shirts, make them into something new. Say you got an old t-shirt that you never wear anymore. You could, of course, give it away, put it in a rummage sale, donate it somewhere. But another thing you can do is make it into like a bag. This is something I got from a company that I was gonna do like a sponsorship brand deal type thing with, but then when I found out it was made in Bangladesh and it came in like double plastic wrap, I tried to return it, did it to the wrong address, and then it was too late to return it once I got it back to my doorstep. Since it also didn't fit super well, I decided to make it into a cute little bag that I can take to the grocery store. Reuse old t-shirts instead of buying new claws. What I did with the parts of the t-shirt that I cut off was I cut them, like this is part of the sleeve, and you can use these to clean things or something that I did with uh, these a while ago was clean my bike chain. There's so many different things you can do with all these little scraps that keep them from just being completely wasted. Always keep some reusable cutlery with you instead of using plastic when you're out and about. So when you're eating out somewhere where this is your options for silverware, you can just pull one of these out of your purse or you can be dumb like me and get one of these, which I don't think are super necessary to get because probably everyone already has silverware that they can just spare a fork and a spoon and stick them in your purse. But either one that works is better than continually getting these over and over. Bring your own coffee cup to restaurants and cafes instead of getting the plastic ones that they have there. This isn't something that I do because I don't drink coffee, but if you go to like Starbucks every week, Bring one of these things, have them fill it up instead of using their typical plastic ones that you're just gonna throw away or hopefully you at least recycle after you're done using it. Instead of throwing veggie scraps away, save them and make veggie broth out of them. My mom does this. She'll save like the scraps of different vegetables that we are cutting off when we're making things and she'll put them all in the freezer for a while and then when she has a lot, she'll make veggie broth out of them. That's a really good way to get some use out of the things that you are typically just gonna throw away. Use reusable bags instead of non-reusable ones. Like with the water bottles, this one might seem really obvious to some people, but I worked at a craft store for over two years and had on average one person a month bring in a reusable bag. So not everyone is with it yet, but that's okay because we'll get there. These, you know, everyone needs one of these. You can get them for like, not these exact ones, but you can get reusable bags for like two or three bucks at pretty much any grocery store these days, it seems like. And the ones that I get fold up really small, so they're really easy to just throw right into my purse and then I always keep them there. I never forget them. Another thing that goes along with this 
is when you're in the produce section and you got these bags so you can put, you know, potatoes, onions, peppers, whatever in, you don't need those. But you can use these and you can, of course, reuse them. Or if you don't want to spend the extra money, just save these ones that you have already and take them to the store each time you go. And then if you have a store around you that has a bulk section, then you can get these kinds of bags. I just put whatever I need in here, like rice is in here right now, and then I get the SKU number, write it on a little sticker. That's just how the store I go to works. Then they weigh it once they get up there and you're good to go. And these two fold up very small, so I just keep all of these in my purse and then I never have to worry about forgetting them. Reuse glass food jars instead of buying new ones. This is something that I've made the mistake of not doing and so have a ton of people I think who are on their low waist journeys as well. So if you're in the same boat as us, no worries at all. But there was a time when I went and bought some new mason jars so that I could put like bulk items in when really all you need to do is take the things that you're already buying, like this is a salsa, this is some applesauce. Once you're done with them, wash them out and reuse them. And you're saving money that way too. If you don't have a store that has a bulk section around you, what you can do is just buy larger quantities. For example, this is some jasmine rice. I think it's, yeah, 25 pounds. And when you're buying bigger quantities of things like this, you know, you can do this with quinoa and oats and honestly a ton of different things. When you get them in the bigger sizes, not as much packaging is going into it compared to if you were to buy 25 one pound bags of the same thing. Don't buy in packages when you don't need to. I'm sure we've all seen those unfortunate sweet potatoes that get wrapped individually into plastic for absolutely no reason. Another thing is like onions. This is the kind of onions that my parents get. They come in this, I'm guessing it's some kind of plastic. Literally the next bin over, they have the, I guess you could call them loose leaf <laughs> onions. Those are the kind I get and they taste just the same. Buy in bulk versus prepackaged if possible. Something that sucks is that a lot of stores, they really don't have bulk options. Like the there's only one in my area that has a place where you can get bulk spinach, which is just like loose spinach. You can put it in your own bag and it's kind of far away from where I live so I don't go there that often. But like spinach, for example, the store is close to me. They only have it in plastic. But something you can do is you can get it in something like this instead, which is much more easily recyclable than something like this. Make your own makeup remover wipes instead of buying disposable ones. When I used to wear makeup, I would use those ones where you just kind of peel back the part of the package, you take one out, rub it all over your face. My mom uses these cotton things for like her eye makeup, but what is really another great option is just using a washcloth and some water and soap for the stuff that's easy to get off. And then there are recipes online where you can make your own type of makeup remover solution. Use regular towels instead of paper towels. So occasionally I do use paper towels for things that I really don't want to use these for, like when my dogs throw up, I don't really want to use one of these to clean it up. But for so many cases, we can just use one of these. So I recommend trying to kind of dwindle down how much paper towel you're using and slowly replace it with just regular towels. Make lists on your phone instead of on pads of paper. So of course these aren't the worst thing for the environment because they are paper, but like this one has a magnet on it, for example. And for me, in my opinion, it's super easy to just type out a list on your phone and take that to the grocery store and use online books or used books instead of buying new ones. Using a Kindle or Nook or listening to audiobooks is great or just going to use bookstores and getting ones like here. I have a perfectly good book that I haven't read yet, but I really am excited to read it soon, um, that I bought and is used. But then on the other hand, I got this book new because I had it on my books to read list and when I find something that's on that list, sometimes I kind of get it without realizing that I'll probably find a used version of it down the road. But I really do try to get as many used ones as possible and it also, of course, saves money a lot. So those are all the low waste swaps that I wanted to talk about in this video. I do have two things that I would like your opinion on. So toothpaste. I did once make my own toothpaste and I liked it, 
but I'd kind of prefer to get some that I isn't just made of like coconut oil and baking soda. I might go back to it if I can't find something I really like, but like this is made of plastic and I have seen some ones that are made out of like aluminum or some kind of metal. So I just want to know if anybody uses a good low waste toothpaste, you want to let me know, give me a link to it or something. Shampoo, I use this and I really like it, but I have been interested in trying like a shampoo bar for the past couple days. I just kind of learned about them recently. If anyone uses one that they really like, please recommend it to me down below. And then of course, if you have anything you want to share, any swaps that you've made or are currently trying to make, let me know, let us all know so we can get some more ideas and be more overwhelmed. <laughs> just kidding, again. Only do, like, work on just doing a few of these things at a time for a couple weeks, maybe a couple days if they're a little bit easier. Once you get the hang of them and they're kind of second nature, then add a few more things into your life. Just don't be too hard on yourself. And so that leads me to today's quote, which is by Jack Kornfield, and it says, If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. 